in from my NBC colleagues, Ken Delanian and Carol Lee. Uh, they are reporting that Attorney General Jeff Sessions now remembers rejecting a proposal by a junior campaign aide, George Papadopoulos, who offered to use his, quote, Russian contacts to try to set up a meeting between Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin. That is according to a source familiar with Sessions' thinking. NBC's national and, in excuse me, NBC's intelligence and national security reporter Ken Delanian joins me from Washington. Uh, Ken, why is it significant that Jeff Sessions is remembering just now uh, that he rejected this proposal? It's significant, Katie, because he testified under oath that he was aware of no discussions with Russians, at least concerning collusion in the election. And that may be where he has some wiggle room. But at this revelation, by the way, the, the, the guilty plea of George Papadopoulos continues to ripple through the Trump administration. That's, that's point number one. But the other thing is that congressional investigators now want to call Jeff Sessions back to Congress, either the Judiciary or the Intelligence Committee, where he testified, and get him to clarify, because this is now, um, this would be the third time he's had to amend his recollection of his contacts involving Russians. Recall that he first testified under oath that he had no contacts with Russians during the campaign, and then he had to amend that to, to say that he did meet with the Russian ambassador, Sergei Kislyak, on two separate occasions. And that became a huge issue. Some Democrats accused him of perjury. He rejected that. He ultimately recused himself from the Trump-Russia investigation. And now the question is, what did he know about what Papadopoulos was proposing? He was sitting in a March 31st meeting where George Papadopoulos, according to these court documents released on Monday, suggested that he could, the Russians he was talking to wanted to arrange a meeting between Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin. Well, now Jeff Sessions is saying he remembers that conversation and he remembers rejecting that idea. That's significant, Katie, because he didn't remember any such thing when he was under oath before Congress. And because this happened while he was under oath in public testimony before Congress, can we have video of it? Let's take a listen. I have never met with or had any conversation with any Russians or any foreign officials concerning any type of interference with any campaign or election in the United States. Further, I have no knowledge of any such conversations by anyone connected to the Trump campaign. I was your colleague in this body for 20 years, at least some of you, and I participate uh, uh, in the suggestion that I participated in any collusion, that I was aware of any collusion with the Russian government to hurt this country, which I have served with honor for 35 years, or to undermine the integrity of our democratic process is an appalling and detestable lie. So Jeff Sessions right there saying he doesn't remember any of that, uh, any conversation about that. Um, uh, Renato Mariotti is also with us. Renato, uh, one quick question to you. If somebody wants to claim that he's uh, perjured himself a second time with this, uh, will they have enough of an argument to, be, to, to make that claim? Well, notice the careful language there, uh, Katie. I probably, because I spent a lot of time listening to people testify and cross-examining them, I, I listened to it a little differently than you do. But notice that he really didn't answer the question. Uh, what he did was he said that he didn't participate in conversations about collusion and interference in the campaign. But he's in that which room where, where reportedly that was, that was brought up. He, I mean, is sitting around a table with a number of foreign policy advisors, is that not considered uh, participating in that sort of conversation? I suspect that what Mr. Sessions will say is that that con he, he didn't know exactly what he says he now remembers rejecting it. So that's mm -hmm. participating in a conversation. Right? I will say, Katie, it, well, I will say, first of all, you said he now remembers it. It is interesting how federal criminal investigations tend to sharpen one's memory. <laughs> uh, but, but I will say that what he might say, uh, if I, you know, him or his lawyer might say, well, I didn't know, I didn't realize that that meeting with Putin was about interfering in our elections or about collusion. Got it. I just thought we wanted to discuss foreign policy uh, issues or something like that. And, and, you know, so that's that's what I think he'll do. And certainly Mr. Mr. Sessions throughout that entire testimony uh, was, was talking about how 
how he didn't recall this. And he was a very evasive witness. And as somebody, a former prosecutor watching it, I kept, you know, talking at the television, you know, telling these senators to follow up or to get their questions answered. And, and you know, I think he, he recognized that lying to Congress is a crime yeah. uh, for viewers at home. And I think he recognized that and he was being careful at times to, uh, in terms of how he answered to, evade, to avoid and, that. And Ken, go Katie, ahead. Renato is absolutely right about that. And that is the session's position, as I understand it, which is that he didn't understand these conversations to be about collusion, Got it. which is why the really important question is who in the campaign knew that Papadopoulos had been offered by these Russians dirt on the Clinton, on Hillary Clinton, and thousands of emails? Did I, that information reach Jeff Sessions? I we presume just don't know. We will find that out at some point in the future. Ken Delaney, and thank you very much for that great report. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.